This is a lesson on finding surface area. And the objective today is for you to be able to find the surface area of a rectangular prism by combining the areas of all six of the faces of the prism. And, uh, you know, we're talking about something like a cube, you know, how a cube has six faces on it. If we can find the area of each of the faces and then combine them all, we're going to get the total surface area. And that's our goal today, to be able to uh, find uh, the area of all of the faces combined. If you are systematic about it today, you're going to have much, much better results than someone who is sloppy and just writing the, the numbers all over the page, hoping to uh, remember which faces which. Uh, it really pays to be organized in this lesson. In order to succeed here, you're going to have to know uh, something about rectangular prisms, and specifically, you're going to have to know that the opposite faces of a rectangular prism are equal. So the top, when we find the area of the top, we know that the bottom, which is its opposite face, is going to be equal in area to the top. And then we know the right side and the left side are going to be equal, so if we can find the right side, or the area of the right side, we're going to know also the area of the left side, and then the area of the front is going to be equal to the area of the back. And that's a real key component of this lesson. Uh, the second thing you're, you're going to have to know is uh, you're going to have to know how to multiply whole numbers and numbers with decimals. And just remember that surface area measures the area of all of the faces, front and back, side and side, and top and bottom. And these are pairs, you know, because they are equal uh, to each other. And again, that's another key component to this lesson. Keep that in mind as we uh, move forward. All right, so sometimes you have this rectangular solid, you know, this prism that you can't see through, right? You can't see the back side. Uh, and even when you can't see that, you have to know that there are six faces on this cube, not just three. I can see three, but I have to know that there are actually six faces on there. So if I find the front face here, which is three units, times three units or nine square units. I know that even though I can't see it, the back side also has nine. Then if I look at the right side, I can see that it's also three units times three units, which means it's nine square units on the right side. Even though I can't see the left side, I gotta know there's nine units over there too. And then if I uh, look at the top, or if I can find the top, which is also 3 times 3, or 9 units, that I'm going to add that in there with the bottom, even though I can't see the bottom, because I know the top and the bottom, which are opposites, are equal uh, in area. So a lot of people, when they see this, they, they add up all of the area of the three sides they can see, but then they forget that, you know, they have to be able to picture that there are more sides to this. Right, there's there's actually six faces to every rectangular solid. So one way you can double check to see whether or not you're um, you know on the right track is see how many numbers you're adding up. If you're adding up six numbers, you're doing the right thing. All right, this is just gonna uh, we're just gonna look at how surface area is measured. Just reviewing now, perimeters me uh, measure of length, just one dimension. You know how long something is. You know how long are the lines all the way around a uh, shape. Area measures the number of squares that can fit in the shape, and there's two dimensions, base times height or length times width, uh, whatever your uh, teacher calls it. It's, um, it, you know, the bottom times how tall it is. So that's uh, the two dimensions. And when we have that, we say it's a certain amount of units squared. And then volume measures cubes or three dimensions that's length times width times height and so we in our answer we say that's however many units or whatever unit we're measuring and we give it a exponent of three because it has three dimension or cubes three uh you know three measures right and then um perimeter is just units so which one are we working with today well we are working with area right and so we're working with two dimensions, base times height or length times width. Uh, and so all of our answers are going to be labeled with a neat little two after we uh, say what the unit is. 
All right, here are the notes for the lesson, and uh, it's on surface area, lesson 11-10. And the question is, how do I find surface area? So you're going to write in, in note form, you know, what steps you take in order to uh, find this area of a rectangular prism, and then maybe some examples down here. And here's our first example that we're going to be working with. And I'm going to go fairly slowly through this example so we can see you know, what we're uh, up against here. So I know that this rectangular solid has six faces. It's a rectangular prism. There's six faces on it. Not all the faces are equal because it isn't a cube. So I'm going to keep track over all my paper, right? So I'm going to do front side and back side. And I know those are pairs and they're going to be equal. So if I can find the front, I know I'm going to be able to find the back. Then I'm going to find the face on the right side over here. And I'm going to know that the left side, which is its pair, or its opposite pair, which is going to be equal, I know that if I find one, I will know the other. And then I need to find the top and the bottom. All right, so you can see over here I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, things I'm going to be measuring. And at the end, I will add them all up. Uh, and since the unit is centimeters, I already know that I'm going to have centimeters squared at the end. Because again, I'm measuring area, and so area comes in little squares. So let's go through each one of these and, and try to find them out. All right, so I'm going to find the front first. And the front is this face over here that is 6 centimeters wide and 4 centimeters tall. How do I know that that's 4 centimeters? Well every vertical edge is going to be the same and since this ver vertical edge is four centimeters I know they're all four centimeters so I know it's six over here times four centimeters tall and if I want to find the area I just do six times four and get 24. Now it's 24 square centimeters but I don't want to just keep writing centimeters squared on on there. I'm working with the numbers until I get to the end. Then I'll label it. All right. So if I know the front is 24 centimeters here, I know that the back side that it, you know it's behind the shape, but I know the back side is also 24. So again, we only have to find one, and then we'll find the other. All right. Let's find the right side and the the left side now. So here's the right side. It is a uh, six or excuse me three centimeters wide times four centimeters tall for a total of three times four equals twelve all right so that's three times four if I know the right side is twelve square centimeters I know the left side is also twelve square centimeters uh, and then the top and the bottom all right so let me find the top here so I know that this edge right here is 6 because all of the horizontal edges are going to be exactly the same. This one is 6, so that one must be 6 also. We can't write with this one. Oh, there it goes. All right, so that one's 6, and I know that all of these edges that go from the front to the back are 3 because they're all the same, and this one is labeled 3, so that's 6 times 3 for a total of 18. All right, and then I'm going to add them all up. All right, 24 plus 24 plus 12 plus 12 plus 18 plus 18. Sometimes it helps to, you know, combine these first into 48 and then 24 and then 18 plus 18 is 36. Of course, now I'm going to have to erase that and rewrite it later. So now I have 8 times, or 8 plus 4 uh, is 12, plus 6 is 18. Then I have 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 3 more is 10, for a total of 108, and that's 108 centimeters, or square centimeters, centimeters squared. Notice how the little exponent goes after the measure and not after the number, right? It's not 100 and 8 squared centimeters. It's 108 centimeters squared. All right, getting into our 
uh, guided practice here. So let's find out the area of this, or surface area of this rectangular prism. And again, you're going to need six uh, measures, right? Or six areas, six faces. We're going to do the front and the back, right side, left side, and top and bottom. And then we're going to combine them all. All right, so if I can find the front side, which is two, right, that's the base, and then the height is going to be either two or four. Now this two refers to the, um, you know, edge that's going from the front and the back and not the height. The height is over here, it's four. So I have two times four for my front face, and that's eight square millimeters. If I know the front is eight, then the back is going to also be eight because again those are uh, pairs and they're connected all right let's find the right side and the left side the right side is two centimeters times four centimeters that's also eight and then the left side is going to be eight as well and then the top is going to be two centimeters that's all of these horizontal ones are two and then from the front to the back is also two and so if i know that this is two by two, this has got to be two by two, which is four. Okay, and then I have eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus eight is 32, plus four is 36, plus four is 40. So that is a total of uh, area of 40 millimeters squared, or 44, or 40 square millimeters. All right, so if you have a rectangular prism, you have to add them all up. Now, if you have a cube, uh, you don't have to add them all up. What you have to do is know that if you have a cube, each face is going to be exactly equal to the other face in area. So if I can find the one face, I'm just going to multiply that by six in order to find the total area. Why six? Well, there's six faces. If each one's equal, I can multiply them. Uh, so on this one, I see that the bottom is 5, and then vertically it's also 5, so it's 5 times 5 equals 25. So each face is 25 inches, uh, 25 square inches, and since there are 6 faces, I'm going to multiply by 6 here. So when you have a cube, you can just do multiplication. All right, it goes a little bit faster. All right, so here we have 25 times 6, and that's 6 times 5 is 30, and then 6 times 2 is 12 plus. 3 is 15, and we're talking about inches, so it's inches squared. Uh, so rectangular prism, add them all up, knowing that you have equal pairs. And then for the um, cube, you can find the area of one of the faces and then multiply by 6. Here's our task for today. It's working out of the homework book H11-10. And please note the problems that we're doing. We're doing 1, 2, and 3, skipping 4, 5, and 6, and then we're doing 7 and 8. Reminder, area, and that includes surface area, is always measured in little squares, right? So label your answers appropriate. It will be units with a little exponent of 2 at the end, right? So that 2 is important. It means that the units are square units. All right, good luck.